Okay, did you guys, if you guys finish, then you got, um, you got you as, was that one, uh, five zero? And V is zero five? And so when you add them together, you get five, five? Okay, so, um, yeah, it says right here, it says to find the sum. Okay, so I want to do 61 with you guys in such a way that hopefully you would be able to do 62 when I'm done. All right, so we got, um, we got magnitudes here, right? This one's supposed to be 20, this one's supposed to be 50. Now, this says that uh, this vector, u, is pointed in this direction. Um, so that gives you a huge hint. Do you guys know the vector that points in the 45 degree angle? You guys should know this vector. What is the point? What, is, what are the coordinates of the point on the unit circle? Right that two is 45, two. yes, rad two over two. So we're gonna take 20 and we're gonna multiply it to rad two over two, rad two over two. Dang it. Uh, this is the unit vector that's in the unit circle. It's a, it's a vector that's in the unit circle that has a magnitude of one. And if I just multiply this to 20, then I get 10 red 2, and then I get 10 red 2. So this is U. Everybody good? Yes, sir. Okay, I'm going to look at the next one slightly different. Okay, we're going to take, um, what is it, 50? And we're going to multiply that to um, the, the, the horizontal movement and then the vertical movement. The horizontal movement. What moves horizontal? Uh, cosine or a sine? Do you guys remember? Uh, cosine. Uh, you can uh, you can remember the unit circle and you know the coordinates right here. Cosine is the x and sine is the y, right? Right. So we have cosine of 180 degrees and then sine of 180 degrees. Now I'm writing it out kind of extra right now, but uh, you guys know what those two values are because you guys know the coordinates for 180 degrees. What are the coordinates for 180 degrees? Negative one, which is cosine of 180, and then sine of 180 is going to be zero. So, uh, oops, I forgot to make these pointy or pointy parentheses. All right, so this gives us negative 50 comma zero. So this is going to be our other um, our other vector, which is v. And now we add them together. We have to add this guy with this guy. So that's going to be negative 50. And then you have 10 rad 2, comma. And then you got to add the other one, 0 and 10 rad 2. So it's just 10 rad 2. So this is the sum of u and v vectors. So hopefully that would make sense like if you did it with cosine and sine with 30 degrees and 110 degrees you guys would be able to um, find those two vectors then add them together uh, you have to use cos cosine and sine though we don't know what these are these well actually no I'm sorry we know what this one is we don't know what 110 is do we know 110 no we know 120 yeah we know 120 we know 135 we know 150 we don't know 110 so you got to use your calculator for that one.